Hello everybody. This is the first example we will uh, do with NGLab Trust 2D. It is a trust that you see on the screen. You can uh, open the help file of the program and see this trust. It is example problem one. This example is taken from the book Engineering Mechanics Statics from Russell C. Hibbler. And uh, there is also a solution of this problem that you can check a hand solution. So let's let's see this problem. It's a 2D truss, obviously. It's a statically determined 2D truss. We have two forces here, the dimensions, everything is here. In statically determined trusses, we don't need to know the area of the members in order to find the forces because no matter the area, the forces will be the same. But this is not the same for displacements. So the, in this problem, we don't have the areas and it is irrelevant what the areas exactly are. So we will use some predefined parameters. We will use steel as a material with these properties over here and a section, a European section, IPE 200 with these properties and we will apply this to the model. So uh, I remove the help file and we'll go straight to the program here and we'll start working on this problem. So first we define the set of units and for this example I click units and I will select uh, metric, the default metric system, which is the one you see here, and I click OK before my, because my quantities are in the metric system. Now I can start drawing my model. So I will, I will draw the first A beam member here, 4 meters. And if I do this, the, pro the program will ask me that there is no material and no section defined. So would you like to start quickly with a predefined material and section? And I click quick start, which means yes, go on, just assign the predefined material, which is the one we saw earlier. So I click quick start for the material. I click quiz quick start for the section. And then I get my first member. So if you take this information panel and you go to this member, you will see that it, it is still it has these properties here and the section is IP 200 European section with these properties here. So we have already defined a material here and we have already defined a section here. This is the default material and section and this one we will use for the whole model. So I can move on like this no, uh, element BC now and then element CD, element DE, another four meters here. And then I can continue A, B, C, D, E with F, which is here, four meters up, F, G here, and node H, which is here. And I can easily continue with this drawing the rest of the model. I simply connect the nodes and I go up like this very quickly and then the last members are these ones here. Uh, so this is the model now. I have already defined uh, all my nodes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and all my elements. The dimensions are okay. Everything is okay. So uh, now I can continue with the supports. For the supports, I need to go to the nodes. This is the nodes form here, where by clicking this, I get the properties of all nodes of the model. X, Y coordinates, supports, and any springs that I have. In my case, I need to go to node A and click the two supports because it's a pin support and then node E I only need this one because it's a roller so I can click OK and supports are ready now the same result I can take by double clicking on the nodes 
every time I double click, I get a different support for this node. So supports are ready and it's time to define the nodal loads. I can go straight to this node here, node C, define new load. And I will define here minus 5 kilonewton for node C and then node D. Here I write D. It is minus 3 kilonewton. Now the, the, no, the loads are ready, 5 and 3 on these two nodes of the model. Uh, I don't have any elemental loads here, I don't have any body loads, accelerations, so I'm ready to run the analysis now. To see the results, we simply need to, to run the analysis, pressing this button here. So the analysis is ready. It's completed and then I can start, for example, I can see the force diagram, which is this one. And by default uh, colors, you see that tension is red and compression is blue. So we, you see the compression and tension forces of each member of the model. And this is for forces. By clicking this one, you get the stresses of each member and also you can see the strains for each member. By clicking the next button we see the color plot which is very interesting. So here every member is colored based on its tension or compression. So tension is red, compression is blue and the color represents the amount of tension and compression for each member. And this can be also drawn on the deformed model. So by clicking these buttons, you control the deformation. And you can see this diagram for forces, again, stresses or strains. And last here from the graphics, it's deformation, where you can see the deformation of the model. By clicking, you can magnify the deformation. And also we have the free body diagram which is the support reactions and you can also see the member, the, the tension or compression of each member. For example, this member here is under compression with 4.84 kilonewtons while this member is under tension. So these are the graphical results of the program. And then we also can click here, analysis result, and we can take the node displacements Every node is displacement, support reactions, element results where we see the force and the stress of each member and the program will also show the strain elongation and the strain energy for each member. The next tab here, it's element checked, element checks where the program will check each element for buckling when we have compression members and also for stress here and it gives us the utilization ratio, which is how much the material is used. So if this is under 100%, 100 then uh, it is okay. But if it is above 100, then the member will fail under compressive, compressive buckling or stress, tension or compression stress. And here it's a full report of the program where you get all your results and you can save this in a uh, RTF file by clicking this button over here if you want. Last but not, but not least, it is the analysis validation. If you click here, this button will give you the validation of the results. So first, it is the global equilibrium of the model. These three here need to be zero. The sum of forces in X, Y direction and the sum of moments. Then you have energy conservation, where the energy given to the model needs to be the same as the energy stored in the model. So this number here has to be zero. The work given is the same as the energy stored as strain energy and spring energy in the model. We have joints equilibrium, where each joint has to be in equilibrium. These columns here, zero and zero. 
for all the nodes and last it is the elements equilibrium where all the elements need to be in equilibrium and these columns need to be zero in our case all is zero which means that all is okay so if the analysis is correct and everything is correct then you should receive zeros here which means that the analysis is validated and your results are correct most probably so this was it this was the first example from trust d by ng lab i hope you enjoyed it goodbye